what's up guys today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the Beats Studio 3 I don't know if you say wireless but the Beats Studio 3 here I got them in the blue and silver colorway I don't know how well you can see it and a lot of people that I've been asking about in the videos I've been watching they've been like well you know they got some good things to say and some bad things some people say Bose is better JBL I'm gonna have to JBL speakers, but you know, it's really your preference to be honest now the day. But I did my research between this and the solo. And the reason I want these is because they're a little bigger and it would fit my ears a little better. And apparently the sound control is higher quality, not sound control, but the noise cancellation is a little better. So uh let's get unboxing it and uh I'll get my review started. I have to slice this box open because I prefer to keep the box. Um, and right here, the top it says 22 hour battery life, which is pretty good. Um, it comes with this outside sleeve, the Beats logo. So it's changed the way you hear sound. You got this little pink red tab. There we go. And this, this isn't like one of those nice felted boxes, but I believe, I'll get back to the headphones in a second, that this comes out. Oh, this is inside piece goes. And down in there, we have our user manual. That's what I assume this is. No, it's a sticker. It comes with a Beats sticker. It's probably backwards to you, but it's not for me. I'm sorry, sorry about the camera because it's like really like close and it zooms in really far. I really don't know how to fix that. So you're probably just looking at the top of my face or barely any of it. And then. Yes, here's the user manual and how to operate it. We don't need that, I'll we'll figure that out. Um, safety information, basically saying don't turn them up all the way and listen for a long time. And the user agreement all came in that little thing, which the sticker's kind of cool, didn't really expect that. Um, here we have what I assume to be kind of like an aux cord, but it's not an aux cord. It's what runs to your phone from the um, headphones. We got an all black carabiner. I guess the hook from uh, the headphone case to your bag or something. So you can put them in your bag, which is, I guess, kind of cool if you want. And this says fast fuel 10 minute charge and it lasts you up to three hours. So if it takes 22 hours at maximum and 10 minutes gets you three hours, but uh, some quick math there would be eight, 80 minutes. So an hour and 20 minutes was what it would take to charge all the way to 22 hours. A little less than that, to be honest. Um, you know, that's all we got in there. That's everything that came out. Let's, uh, let's see what we all get to now that we've checked out everything else that came in that box. Let's uh, get the Caribbean. Let's get to um, the headphones, the main attraction, the review part. Now we'll get the unboxing. For some reason, I picture them being a lot bigger. In the picture, it looks a lot more silver. It's a lot more reflective. But I was going to go with the black and gold, but almost everyone I know has that. And then we got some stickers saying what the sides are. This one doesn't have anything. So it looks like that's the sound up at the top button, and the bottom's down. And then that looks like play and call. 
So we'll take that off. And if you're wondering, that was on the left side. Oh. Here's the charge charging ports on the right side at the bottom. Uh, so they fold up, which is good for the storage, so you can get nice compact storage. And yeah, they got they got some length to them. I usually put them on too. For what I use. You can really feel that leather like breaking out of the top. It's not really like leather, but it's like really grippy and squishy. It's kind of like a rubbery at the top there, which I kind of really like. Um, but yeah, they, 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 they'll shake them around. They stay on there pretty well. They're not loose. Uh, well, let's see if we have any charge that came with it. Let's see if they're even on. So I have to hold it. Oh, there we go. Full battery. Now I'm going to connect them to my computer here. And I will do a sound thing. And we'll try the noise the noise cancellation. And we'll see how if that works out. Now here's another thing. I want to be honest. I have no idea where the Bluetooth connect button is. Maybe it's scanning. I have no idea. Okay, I will pull up here on my computer, and I want to connect, I want to add a Bluetooth device, this is audio, okay, what if I just tap, there we go, so I'm assuming you just tapped it, yes. You just tap the on button and that will scan it. And there we go. My computer. I've now connected. So now I'm gonna play some music. And uh, let's see. I don't know if you can hear that. So that's as loud as they go which I could hear that from an arm's length away. And that was pretty loud. That was almost as loud as my computer at full volume. No, it's definitely not that loud, but. Oh yeah, they're good headphones for three hundred eighty-five dollars. Yeah, they're worth it. Um, yeah, they have good sound control, but I want to know about this um, noise cancellation. So I'm gonna go look that up. Okay, so I just looked this up here at the instructions, and it says. It, the noise cancellation is automatically turned on every time and this one says that you can turn it off by tapping it twice the power button so this is noise cancellation and you can definitely tell the 
there's a difference because I can hear my own voice muffled and I can hardly hear myself. So now I will double tap the button if I get the right side. No, I was on the right side. Okay. So it does change the volume, but I can't get it to, I can't get it to pause the music, but I can't get it to make it go up and down. Okay, nope. All right, I, I have no idea what the difference. I'm def I'm doing it. It goes b beep, but I can't really tell that much of a difference. I would say now I can hear myself better. And now it's done that. Yeah, you can definitely tell there's a difference. So I turn it up, I want to see what the difference is. So this is it with it on. And yeah, I turned it off and yes, yeah, so you can definitely tell that the music gets significantly louder with the noise cancellation on. Um, so yeah. Comfort, 10 out of 10. Sound quality, 10 out of 10. Noise cancellation, 10 out of 10. I don't know like if you're on like an airplane how much like more noticeable it'll be, but for me just doing this little test here in my room, it, it worked out and it did just fine. So that was my review here for the Beats Studio 3. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I know that it wasn't really the highest quality, but you did get my review and the unboxing. Uh, at some points, me trying to get it figured out there. I should have paused it, but you know, that's what I did. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, in the description. And then below that, I'm sorry, above that, I will link my last video. And I also will up there. So make sure to go watch that. And as always, have a nice day.